wear proper attire. Let us show our respect and reverence to the house of God and to the celebration. Thank you for your cooperation. And let us offer this mass to our Father in heaven for the intention of KK and Catherine Wong and family, William and Malo Calusa, Nomer and Lisa Bautista, Deuce and family, Basilio family, Yvonne Choi and family, Johnny and May Calmilusa, Jenny and Grace, Bernadette Cronich, Genevieve Fiskai, Jessica Unlayao, and Thanksgiving of Papilota family. For the healing of Samuel Makarat, Joan Gacho Sevilla, Anthony Mack, Tracy Chan, Lamuet Cam, Rose Poon, and past recovery of Teresa Acosta. And we pray for the souls of Elisio Oricio, Claudia Elaine Cabusa, Sonia G, and Lilia Sabando. And also the, for the birthday of Alson Luces, Lenny Cortez, Janelle Manila, Yuan James Cruzat, John Anthony Gieb, Mark Stephen Taparan. And Thanksgiving of Elstomar, Albeos and family, Prudomar and family, Divina Arenas and family, Jacqueline Coloma Carag, Jenna Habab Coloma, Mr. and Mrs. Maria Bly, for their 28th wedding anniversary, Grace Soralbo, Barcinal and Antiza family, Sister Josie Mackay and family, April Joy Tinorian family, Rachel Ugilian and family, Sister Nell de Galingan and family, Jumal de Ballesteros and family. Special intentions of Umchi Lok and family, Jumal de Ballesteros and family, Jeremiah Vicente and family, Maripel Jimenez, and Jesslyn Aguilera for fast healing. Milagros del Rosario, Jaden Gerald Carrack, Josie Carrack, Ricky Bly, Mr. and Mrs. Chris, and Christina, Lorna and Mark, and Rogelia, Rogelia and family. And let us offer this mass also for the souls of Ursula Tasik, Sosima Jumawid, Salina Leopoldo, Ananias Jumawid, Pasensio Jumawid, Angela Jumawid, Eusebio Tasik, Karina Tasik, Benancio Tasik, Teresa Tasik, Patricia Tasik, Jeremias Tasik. And also the souls of Virgilio Kev, Evaristo Kev, Maria Bermudez, Rufo Perilla, L.D. Pons of Perilla, Elena Seriales. Also the souls of Herber, Helbert Bilangoy, Anita Bilangoy, Concordio, Prudencia Gregorio, Laudelino Garcia, Estropia Garcia, Andres Garcia Jr. Sr., Baby Melchor, Manila, Gilbert Garcia, Patrocin Garcia, Benedict Anyayan, Camila Anyayan, Diego Garcia, Orbencia Alcontin, Alfredo Baxan, Felipe Baxan, Charlie Rodriguez, and all the souls in purgatory, especially those souls who are completely forgotten. Today is the 15th week in ordinary time. Heavy burdens will come to us offhand, but we need not fear for we have Jesus to lighten them up for us. All we need to do is come to him and share our burdens with him. We may sometimes feel like giving up in life because of issues we face and are beyond our control. Have we ever reached a point in life where we try to get help from our family, friends, and neighbors? but your problem never gets a solution? Jesus Christ is inviting us to upload all our problems on him with humble hearts 
and we will surely find rest. Our mass presider is Father Dave Flandes. This year, we celebrate the year of St. Joseph, patron of the Universal Church. Let us all stand and ask the intercession of St. Joseph, our patron, our companion, and guide as migrants. Together we pray. O glorious St. Joseph, faithful follower of Jesus Christ, to you do I raise my heart and hands to implore your powerful intercession in obtaining from the kind of heart of Jesus all the help and graces necessary for my spiritual and temporal welfare, particularly the grace of happy death and the special favor I now implore. O oh, glorious Saint Joseph, through the love that you did bear for Jesus Christ and for the glory of his holy name, dying to hear my prayer and obtain for me my petition, O oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph, come to my assistance. Amen. we pray for the birthday of Jerry de Guzman and also we pray for the wedding anniversary of Russell Bell Rocreo the intention of Jojo Binafe, the Guzman family Basilio family and for the healing of Jonalyn Gatso Sibilia, the soul of Gabriel Mangonon let us glorify the Holy Triune God in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today is the memorial of St. Bonaventure, a prolific writer called a, 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 a seraphic writer no? through his writing that the church were guided in, their, in our spirituality. So for us to be worthy in this Eucharistic celebration, we now acknowledge our sins, our failures, and we ask God's mercy and pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that just as we celebrate the heavenly birthday of the Bishop St. Bonaventure, we may benefit from his great learning and constantly imitate the ardor of his charity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us all be seated and listen attentively to the Word of God. A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses, 
hearing the voice of the Lord from the burning bush, said to him, When I go to the children of Israel and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you. If they ask me, What is his name? What am I to tell them? God replied, I am who am. Then he added, This is what you shall tell the children of Israel. I am sent to you. God spoke further to Moses. Thus shall you say to the children of Israel, The Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Asaph, the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name forever. This is my title for all generations. Go and assemble the elders of Israel and tell to them, The Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, has appeared to me and said, I am concerned about you and about the way you are being treated in Egypt. So, I have decided to lead you up out of the misery of Egypt into the land of the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites, a land flowing with milk and honey. Thus, they will heed your message. Then, you and the elders of Israel shall go to the king of Egypt and say to him, The Lord, the God of the Hebrews, has sent us word. Permit us then to go a three days journey in the desert, that we may offer sacrifice to the Lord our God. Yet, I know that the king of Egypt will f not allow you to go unless he is forced. I will stretch out my hand, therefore, and smite Egypt by doing all kinds of wondrous deeds there. After that, he will send you away. Brothers and sisters, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm and our response be, The Lord remembers His covenant forever. The Lord remembers His covenant forever. Give thanks to the Lord. Invoke His name. Make known among the nations His deeds. Recall the wondrous deeds that He has wrought, His portents and the judgment He has uttered. The Lord remembers His covenant forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Asaph. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He greatly increased his people and made them stronger than their foes, whose hearts he changed so that they hated people and dealt deceitfully with his servants. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He sent Moses his servant, Aaron whom he had chosen. They rout his signs among them and wonders in the land of Ham. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Please all rise.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for, your, for yourselves. For my yoke is easy, and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise your Lord Jesus Christ. In the first reading, the Egyptians, we know that they were enslaved by the, the Israelites were enslaved by the Egyptians. No? And so the prayer of the Egyptian is also a prayer for their liberation. And so they were praying, it says, permit us then to, to go through this journey in the desert that we may offer sacrifice to the Lord, our God. No? So for them, prayer will be their strength no? because they were uh, slaves no? and to pray to give them power to give them strength to endure in their journey no? and so that's why they were praying therefore it is a form of rest it is a form of strength as what the gospel jesus said come to me all you who labor and are overburdened or burdened and i will give you rest no for those who are tired physically emotionally or psychologically the lord is inviting us meaning true rest therefore is only to be with jesus no ang tunay na rest no is to be with god the beautiful saying of saint augustine my heart is restless o lord until it finds rest in you that our true rest is to be with jesus but there is an invitation no? if we are tired but if we do not come to the Lord, if we do not go to the Lord, then we will not experience uh, wholeness. We will not experience healing. We will not experience rest. That's why just come to me. No? Meaning there is an invitation to come. No? It is Lord, I'm tired Lord. But you do not come. You do not pray. No? And you will be tired forever. But that's why Jesus said, come to me, all you who labor and burden, I, and I will give you rest. No? There is an we have to do our part, to do our part. No, meaning that it, though no, we want to to be with, we want to that you know that rest to that wholeness. Then we have to come to the Lord. Number one, meaning through prayers, no, that we come to Him. With the Lord, I'm tired, no, but you do not go to the Lord. You do not pray. You do not commune with the Lord. How can you experience healing? How can you find rest? If we do not come to the Lord. So the invitation of coming in the context may be through prayer. We come to Him. We encounter the Lord in praying. That's why through prayer, there we find rest. There is, there is an assurance. The Lord knows that we have problems. The Lord knows that we have you know, trials in our life, challenges. But if we come to the Lord, the Lord will assure us, will give us the strength in order to face our problem. Maybe coming here, dala-dala natin, no? maybe our plans or problems. No? But as we come here, the challenge is we come to enter into the spirit of prayer. We do not come just here physically. You may be there attending physically, but maybe your mind somewhere out there. <laughs> okay. So how can we find rest? Meaning true rest, therefore, it is a surrendering of mind and heart. You surrender your soul, you surrender your mind, your heart to the Lord. No? That's why as we surrender, offer it, after the celebration, we have the strength, we have the courage to face our problem. Okay? The problem will be there. No? But now, because we surrender, no? we offer it to the Lord, God will give us the strength to face whatever trials or problems in life. No? That's why coming to the Lord, therefore, is also surrendering. We trust our minds as if we recharge our soul with the Lord. And Jesus said, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. No? Take my yoke. No? What is the yoke? No? You know the 
farmer plowing, there is the yoke, no? Meaning, the yoke here, the, the law of the Lord, no? The law of love, no? Take my yoke, take the law of love upon you and learn from me, no? That's why we learn the way Jesus love, that the love of Jesus is not for self-centered, not for the self, but the love that is sacrificial. And we have to learn that love. No? So love, therefore, something that we have to, to surrender, no? to, to make sacrifices. That's why take my yoke upon you and learn from me. Take the law and learn from Jesus. The law should lead us to be more compassionate. That's why, for I am meek and humble of heart. The more we observe the law, the more we follow the law, the more we should make us humble, compassionate, not so self-righteous. No? Ah, I follow the law. They're not following the law. Yung tagawan chai, hindi na ko follow ng law. <laughs> no. But sometimes we try to separate ourselves. But the more we observe the law, the more we follow the law, the more we should show compassion. And that's why he said, for a meek and humble of heart, not to exclude them, but now our mission to, to love them, to bring them to Jesus, no? our salvation. And that is what, that's why they will find rest. No? They will find joy to be with Jesus. Like Mary Magdalene, right? Mary Magdalene he was overburdened. No? He was, you know, because of that burden of enslavement of sin. But when she followed the Lord, there was freedom. That meaning to follow the Lord, that is our rest our freedom as what mother Ter saint teresa of calcutta said no solo basta dios only god is enough for me no? that only the lord no that's why when we have god the center in our life then we find rest no meaning god is our treasure remember the parable of the great pearl no that if you if you discovered a pearl of great price then you sell everything. No? Meaning that is if you really discover God, for you, God is everything. Like the story of Zacchaeus, the story of Matthew, the tax collector. No? These are tax collector, meaning wealthy people. But when they discovered the Lord, they were ready to give up everything. Even Zacchaeus told to Jesus, Lord, even half, half of my property, I will give it to the Lord. Now because I discover you, Lord, you are my treasure. That's why here, Jesus is reminding us that our true rest is to be with Jesus. For especially for us, migrants, FWs, no? and we are so tired working. No? Imagine only our day off, Thursday, no? and every day, sometimes until 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. No? You want to sleep, and then they ask you to do work. So, so tired. Somehow, Jesus will be our strength. No? Jesus will be, she will be, be our justice Jesus will be our guide no? that's why you know sometimes instead of our family our strength when they call them tawag natin tatawag tayo walang sumasagot sumasagot lang yan pag mga nagre-remit na kayo <laughs> o mga first week sasagot yan but hindi pa nga hindi pa nga kayo sumasagot natitext na ma hindi pa napadala ma <laughs> o oh. Pero in the middle, pagod na pagod ka na, you want source, you want inspiration, good news from the family, motivation, wala. Mas yun ang tawag mo, walang sagot. Tawag yung asawa mo, walang sagot. Napapraning ka na, na naman, baka nakita na. <laughs> oh, praning ka. Okay, so, here the Lord is reminding us no, that He is our true rest. Real happiness is only to be with Jesus. No? Sometimes, even family, cannot give us happiness. No? That's why if we are not happy, then we come to the Lord and we ask the Lord for strength that hopefully we can be an instrument of love, instrument of forgiveness to be reconciled with, in the family with our brothers and sisters. No? Amen. And in this liturgy, we pray also, we, now we, our Eucharistic minister will renew no? their commitment in their ministry as extraordinary ministers.
Dear friends in Christ, our brother and sisters are to be entrusted with administering Holy Communion. In this ministry, you must be examples of Christian living in faith and conduct. You must strive to grow in holiness through the sacrament of unity and love. Remember that though many, we are one body because we share the one bread and one chalice. As extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion, be therefore specially observant of the Lord's command to love your neighbor. For when he said to them, This is my commandment, that you should love one another as I have loved you. Are you resolved to undertake the office of giving the body and blood of the Lord to your brothers and sisters and to so serve to build up the church? Yes, I, yes am. I am. Are you resolved to administer the Holy Eucharist with the utmost care and reverence? Yes, yes I, I am. am. Dear friends in Christ, let us pray with confidence to the Father. Let us ask Him to bestow the blessing of our brothers and sisters chosen to be ministers of Holy Communion. Gracious Lord, you nourish us with the body and blood of your Son that we might have eternal life. Bless our brother and sisters who have been chosen to give the bread of heaven and the cup of salvation to your faithful people. May the saving mysteries they distribute lead them to the joys of eternal life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Let me nourish your people with the witness of my life as I feed them with the body of Christ. Grant your strength and holiness to all our us, your ministers, and make us worthy to bring Christ to others. Amen. May the Lord be your strength in your mission. Amen. Amen. Let us all stand. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Confident of this promise, we now present to him our needs. And let us say, Lord, be merciful to your people. Lord, be merciful to your people. We pray for the church and all her ministers, that they may be compassionate to all peoples, we pray. Lord, be merciful to your people. We pray for the whole world and political leaders that they may show concern to the poor and reverence for the sacredness of life, we pray. Lord, be merciful to your people. We pray for those who are enslaved by sin and material things that they may open their minds and hearts to discover Jesus a real treasure and joy we pray Lord be merciful to your people we pray for those who are sick may the Lord comfort and heal them we pray Lord be merciful to your people we pray for all OFWs migrants and refugees that they may be faithful to their families in spite of the distance, we pray. Lord, be merciful to your people. We pray for an oppressive employer that they may show compassion and respect to their workers, we pray. Lord, be merciful to your people. 
We pray for the protection of all frontliners workers that they may be protected in their service in assisting the victims and the sick. And we pray also for our protection and the protection of others, we pray. Lord, be merciful to your people. In silence, we pray for our personal intention. We pray. Lord, be merciful to your people. Heavenly Father, your Son promised to give us rest when overburdened. Grant that we may always respond to his guidance and strength. Strengthen us to be instruments of his peace. We ask this through Christ, our peace and joy, together with the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual strength blessed be god forever pray mother brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for the good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray, on the offerings we set upon this sacred altar on the feast day of blessed Bonaventure, and bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is only right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. Bonaventure, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fonts of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took breath and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, 
for this is my body which will be given the for you In the similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from me for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me Misery of As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Cardinal John Tong, our Apostolic Administrator, Stephen, our Bishop-elect, all bishops, clergy, religious, and all missionaries. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints, Saint Bonaventure, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, come to, me, come to me those who are weary, overburdened, and I will give you rest. Before we pray the Lord's Prayer, we lift up to the Lord all our burdens. Jesus is inviting us. We come to Him. We lift up, we surrender all our problems, trials, our plans that or challenges in life that burdens our heart. We live up to the Lord and we trust the Lord that He will empower us. He will strengthen us. Let us unite our minds, our hearts, as we pray the Lord's Prayer. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. As one family of God, let us offer each other the sign of God's peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Blessed is that servant whom the Lord finds awake when he comes and knocks at the gate. Let us pray. Renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of blessed Bonaventure, we may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for deliverance from the pandemic. O God, you are the source of all goodness. We come to you to invoke your mercy. You have created the universe with harmony and beauty. Yet through our pride, we have disrupted the course of nature and brought about an ecological crisis which affects our health and the well-being of the human family. For this, we ask for your forgiveness. O God, look with pity on our plight. For we are in the midst of a new viral pandemic. May we experience again your fatherly care, restore order and harmony to nature, and recreate a new mind and heart in us, that we may look after our earth like a faithful steward. O God, we entrust you all the sick and their families. May you bring healing to their body, mind, and spirit, enabling them to partake of the Paschal mystery of your Son. Help all members of our society to play their proper roles and strengthen the spirit of solidarity among them. Sustain our frontline medical and healthcare workers, social workers, and educators. Come especially to the aid of those in need of resources to safeguard their health. We believe that it is you who direct the course of human history and that your love can change our destiny for the better, whatever might be our human condition. Grant us that for faith to all Christians that even in the midst of fears and chaos, they may carry out the mission you have entrusted to them. O God, bless our human family abundantly and dispel from us all evil. Deliver us from the pandemic that is afflicting us, so that we may praise and thank you with renewed hearts. For you are the author of life, and with your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in unity of the Holy Spirit, you live and reign, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for the Holy Souls. Eternal Father, I offer you the most precious body and blood of your divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Master said throughout the world today, for all the whole souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, for those in my own home and in my family. Amen. After receiving the Holy Word and the Holy Eucharist for our spiritual nourishment, let us show our love and devotion to the Lord by giving Him a round of applause. And we are again inviting you to join us in the fellowship of El Shaddai right after this Mass by the teaching of Brother Beethoven. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down your heads for God's blessing. May God the glory and joy of the saints who has caused you to be strengthened by means of their outstanding prayers bless you with an ending blessings. Amen. Amen. Free through their intercession from present ills and formed by the example of their holy way of life, may you be ever devoted to serving God and neighbor. Amen. Amen. So that together with all, you may possess the joys of the homeland where Holy Church rejoices that her children are admitted in perpetual peace to the company of the citizens of heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us go to follow Jesus, our strength and our salvation. Thanks, Thanks. be to God. Okay, before the final pray, uh, recessional song, I would like to call uh, before that. This is to certify that Sister Josie Makaya Sister Norma P. Natalio and Brother Jenny Soralbo is commissioned. What the and also the other one and 
is commissioned. And also, and also Brother Johnny Camilosa Jr. is commissioned as Eucharist Minister of the El Shaddai Community Hong Kong from July 2021 to 2023, given at St. Joseph Church, number 37 Garden Road, Hong Kong. Signed, Reverend Father J. Francis Arflandes, SBD, Sister Cindy Bernardes, and Brother Beethoven Borlungan. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, and God bless folks. <laughs> Sisters, amen.